first things first we're gonna go ahead and start cleaning this thing up just real quick we're just gonna use some real simple stuff and I just want to clean all the dust off and then I'm gonna take off the lid of the air box and the math sensor and we'll give that a quick cleaning first problem right away is that this filter is the nastiest filter I've ever seen on any car and that's leading straight to the math so it needs to come out all right coming back we already cleaned up a little bit I just went ahead and vacuumed out a majority of the interior as you can see this thing fully needs to be detailed and it needs a full interior all right coming back the same night we picked up the e46 m3 i've let this thing sit for probably about eight hours now and i've been checking it periodically and this is what i've been checking for so of course randomly we come down here and it is leaking coolant this is what I've been checking for. I've probably checked three, four times now and nothing. And now randomly there's a, a puddle of coolant. So of course, this is what we kind of expected. And as well, it looks like all tires are going flat. So the rears look like they just need some air. And then these look like they're holding. But if I show you this under the car, you can see they're all split and they're all kind of deflating. Same thing with passenger, if I can get under here real quick. If you can see that, exact same thing. On a positive note, unlike this M5, which is, you hear that, so it needs a new, I honestly forgot the part, but it's super quiet when you unlock it. This car, sick. I forgot how these sounded and I kind of missed it. It's super nostalgic. I had just a 325i sedan manual in high school and me and my homies would take that car out and just go fuck around and have tons of fun. So it's super nostalgic hearing this. It's the next day. We came to check up on the leak. It had dried up what had leaked and it wasn't leaking anymore. I checked the reservoir. It was still pretty full. So I guess we have a little bit of a problem. It might just be leaking when it's cooling down from being hot because this car was pretty much running for a good majority of the day. So we'll have to see about that. M5 looking a little cute. Might take these wheels off later. M3 chilling, 540, someone please come buy it. It does run pretty rough on idle. The car is a little vibrating and the idle jumps around a lot. So I'm gonna see if it does it. All right, I'm just gonna unplug the map and see if it makes any difference. This is the setup since the hood won't stay up by itself. So just unplug the math real quick. I did clean the math yesterday, but sometimes that isn't always the fix, especially if it's just straight up faulty. One thing I also did notice was yesterday it was holding a high idle. It was pretty much idling like this, even when the car was fully warmed up and we we're just driving around town. So that is also a problem. The oil temp gauge has no reading at all. But I did clear the codes yesterday when I took it for a drive and I'm surprised that nothing has come back yet after multiple starts. So I am patiently waiting for that to come back so we have more of a direction to follow. But it seems to be holding a good idle. You can definitely smell how rich this car is. It's disgusting so I think your boy might need to put some OEM cats back in here. Also, can anybody tell me, is this stock clutch? Is that it? For E46 M3, is that really? Cause it, you push it in and like right there releases. You can hear it in the idle. And just as I say that, it's stumbling. But it is a lot better than what it was so math could be an issue this is the first code that it came back uh it was stumbling a little bit and i gave it just a blip of the throttle to 2k and the car stalled and let's see if it turns back on and it does pop up an eml light real briefly and now service engine light is on obviously because we unplugged the math so math is low circuit unplugged 
and this is the code so if anybody's dealt with this with e46 m3 let me know uh hopefully it's just a sensor and that's it but i'm not too up to date with the knowledge of these cars so let me know let's try it again <laughs> that's fresh all right so if you dealt with this uh go ahead hit me up let me know i do apologize for this video being a little bit all over the place but damn these things look good together but yeah this video was a little all over the place uh, i wanted to get more work done on this car but there's really not much i can do without having some parts so i kind of figured out what it is um relating with the code and the rough idle i believe it's the vano solenoid or the vano solenoid pack um it shouldn't be anything other than that but if you guys do have any advice any information anything else you could tell me go ahead and comment below let me know i'm not too up to date with these cars or experienced e39 i got it e46 it's a whole new realm so any help is appreciated uh, i do got to go back to work today so this is kind of why there's a lack of video i wanted to get some personal stuff done and get somewhat of a night's rest after staying up for a couple days so this thing is just going to be chilling here until we kind of get some parts yesterday we cleaned the math and we cleaned out the intake and the car still did all the same shit it idles perfectly fine and then i'll go drive and then it will just randomly die on a stoplight turn it on it'll die and then i'll go do a full pull everything's fine made a uh, decent power this seems pretty torquey pretty quick and then it would just kind of want to stall out and die so that's about it for the m3 i do apologize for this video being all over the place but stay tuned. We will be working on this car. Uh, I got to sell a bunch of shit. We got that stuff over there. That stuff here. All this shit over here. So if you need E39 M5 parts, hit me up. We got full interior, three sets of wheels. Uh, possibly selling the Apexes on the M5. Let me know what you need. Uh, in Vegas only pickup. So I appreciate anybody who stay tuned. And continue to stay tuned because we have a lot of plans for this as well as a lot of plans for the m5 so like comment subscribe let me know your thoughts let me know if you have any information with the issues and i appreciate it